All right, well, welcome to Mana Lords. The game is still in development. This is a demo of early access of an indie game. Rough edges. Also, very modest quick look, there is no saving. So essentially what I'm gonna do today, we're gonna start at nine o'clock. I'm probably gonna try and push it to two to three. So we may try and get six hours of play in today and then see how big of a settlement we can get and see if there's anything that's broken. I am testing this as kind of a, I mean, you said, uh, demos are designed to be tested, right? That's the purpose of them. So uh, we are going to test it today and we're gonna try and, uh, I wouldn't say try and break it, but we're definitely gonna work on it. Um, also, first and foremost, Slavic Magic, if you're watching this, please enable music when I alt tab out. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Outside of that, it's fantastic. We have our key bindings, which camera forward left. Hi, you leaving me? I love you. I, it's okay. <laughs> uh, there should be tab for more UI information. Control C for cinematics. So we're definitely gonna do some cinematic stuff today. Uh, as for my settings, I'm at 1440p. My resolution is at 100%. I don't have NVIDIA DLSS, so that's not really mattering to me. Uh, we're gonna do unlimited anti-aliasing. Uh, we're doing everything on ultra. Actually, reflections don't need to be on ultra. But we're gonna be ultra everywhere else. Camera, rotation speed, zoom speed. I think all those are perfect. Enable tutorial pop-ups. I played this enough. I don't need to worry about pop-ups. All right, so of course we can only play Rise to Prosperity. The demo is a peaceful demo. It is not anything to do with war. We can't go into Robber Baron. We can't do Realm Conquest. We are just gonna build a prosper uh, prosperous medieval city. And then, then, I'm able to custom upload my logo. So I made sure that this worked beforehand, but this is pretty cool. Like I'm gonna have my logo up here, which I think is really fun. Uh, and then the portrait, I'm going to choose this guy because I resonate with him the most. He looks tired. Looks like he has three. Actually, this is more me. Yeah. Yeah, this is more me. So, of course, you could do all sorts of things. Uh, there is up to five different types of everything here. Uh, you're talking scales, which is really cool. So, I mean, you can do all sorts of of different things like it's a bit bonkers <clears throat> uh, but like I said I'm gonna use mine whenever you get the demo you can do yours however you want to um, this is how I'm going to do mine though and then our starting supplies approval and weather events we're gonna keep these all on standard and balanced I'm not trying to, to min max here I'm not trying to do anything crazy we're just gonna have fun today and we're gonna see how far we can push everything we got a new message. There's a fire at the heart of every settlement, a bastion of safety, warmth, and light against the darkness of the world. On this cold spring morning, your men blow in their fingertips, their breath clouding the air, but there's plenty of work to warm them. As the toil begins, you can almost imagine you hear the ring of anvils, the tolling of bells, cries of the marketplace, possibilities. In the distance, fog lingers in the hollows of the land. The world is quiet, watchful, waiting for you to choose which of those make real so our first objective is within the first year create a granary a logging camp a forager hut and a storehouse now that's not a problem that's a super easy thing to do uh, but first we need to take a look and see what's up with our region so we have a stone deposit right next to our main little area something's poking me we have an iron deposit which is great we have berries and we have two sets of wild animals so we actually have what 60 wild animals total. I don't know if the hunters go outside of their range or if the berries, if the berry gatherers go outside of their range. That's something we can definitely test and see. We can, you know, push to the limits to see what happens. And if we fail, we fail. Um, but anyways, so we actually have a really cool start here. And I can already tell you that we're going to build our Lord's house up here. We're going to have a really cool thing. Like, I'm actually really excited for this version of the map because I've, I've had it before. And so I love it because it's going to allow us to build like an actual Mott and Bailey keep kind of deal, which will be really, really fun. 
Uh, but for now, we need to do all the things. A granary, a logging camp, a forager hut, and a storehouse. We need to figure out where we're going to have all of our main industries going. For one, I think it'd be go ahead and be kind of cool to, to do something like this. That way they will come across there and we can kind of use this as an area for our base of operations. Uh, let's go ahead and drop a logging camp right along the main road. Over here. We can do whatever we want. So that's not a problem. Is there a way to go all the way back here? Roads don't cost anything. So we don't have to worry about that. We'll drop that line right there. There we go. That's a nice smooth line. And then let's go ahead and build... I guess right here? We'll build right here. So there's our logging camp. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is connect this to this area, because that's going to be pretty important for us in the future. Already things are getting a little convoluted. I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't destroy the King's Road. So... <laughs> that's okay. So we got our, our woodcutter, our logging camp. Let's go ahead and get our forager's hut. And we're going to want to build that as close to the foragers as possible, but still not be a ridiculous ways away. So we'll do that, and then we need a granary and a storehouse. So, pretty much... Let's see. We've got emmer, which is basically grain. We've got flax, which doesn't appear to really grow well anywhere. That's unfortunate. We, we only have access to barley, flax, and emmer, so um, this will probably be our, for, our, our farming area. So that's a good thing. That's a good place to put things. Let's actually demolish that building, and let's put the forager on the other side of the road. That way we can have everything kind of right here. Yeah, that's actually, I like that idea. So essentially what I want to do, this is going to be our industrial agricultural hub. And then we may end up pouring into um, this wildlife thing because this might become my residential area. I think that kind of makes sense from a grand scheme of things. Um, I'm not thrilled about this layout at the moment, but I think it'll be okay. So let's go with storage, and we're gonna we're gonna drop a granary. Yeah, this will be a good spot for the granary, and then a storehouse. We'll actually probably drop it right here. And so what you'll see is that um, he's going to go ahead and start dragging using our oxen. We only have one ox. Uh, he's going to bring it over there and we're going to start working. So that's what it be. We're going to go ahead and do two times. So I think that is uh, we need to get that done pretty quick. We're going to label the both of those as priority number two. And I am going to remove this. I don't like that there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this area. But, uh... We may even just, like... Do something like this or something. <clears throat> so things do take a little bit of time to do. Of course, they build everything. And we can do what shift C is what it was. Nope, control C. We can just watch. I mean, this works for me. I could sit here and watch this kind of stuff all day. Our woodcutter's been created, so we're going to do 
one volunteer you can see the uh, unassigned and assigned families anyone who's not actually working will be idle and they will start working on building stuff is essentially how it'll go so pretty cool you get to see them build a structure you want to see something even cooler zephyrius you hit this visit mode This is a really random but really cool feature. Saren Santiago, how are you? I don't know where I am. There it is. So, when this gets to a bigger village and it's like really big, we're gonna get into Lord's mode, and uh, and we're gonna we're gonna have a look around. <clears throat> but this is pretty cool. Hey Nexus, how you doing, man? First person. Yep. Now it's of course only in like one speed, which is all you'd really want to do. But yeah, once we get a bigger city, we're gonna we're gonna have some fun walking around and doing that stuff. Messed with this a bit myself this morning, didn't catch the first person. I only know because I talked to the developer about it. <laughs> <clears throat> like that's that's why. And also, Nexus, look, I have my own logo. Yeah, also noting, of course, that this is not save game compatible. We can't save, so... We'll just do what it do. Make me want to play Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. I never finished uh, the first one. So I honestly do not know. Now, a lot of this stuff will kind of be like... Uh, We'll fast forward through a lot of this because while we're getting things set up, it's nothing too engaging. It's when we start getting a little bit bigger where we have a lot more things going on that I'm going to slow down a bit. Yeah, we know you're homeless. The roads develop puddles. They do. Snow accumulates on the ground. All sorts of stuff. And also... Uh, roads will get, if I remember correctly, the more a road is used, the wider it gets, kind of signifying where some high traffic areas are. Like, there's just a lot of really, really good stuff about this game. <laughs> Indeed it does, yes. We need to get these supplies off. I don't like them. There. So, another thing to note is that with your granary, it's advisable to put someone on your granary and someone on your warehouse, your storehouse, because they'll go and grab stuff. We're not going to worry about that now because we have a very, very limited number of families. Awesome. The granary's been finished. We're actually going to put two people on the forager hut for now. Nice. Quest completed. We got our storehouse built. Your supplies are dry and secure, and the first stage of the work is done. Stories your people tell around the fire are of the many dangers in the world, from beasts to blights, strings tales about foxes who go on pilgrimage, or small creatures who spin gold from sunrise to sunset. They tell these stories to put common names to their fears. Soon, they'll teach these stories to their own children. It's time to bring wives and children to the settlement, now that they can take shelter in proper homes. For your lands to prosper, you'll need not only workers, but families. We need a well and a burgage plot. Okay, so this is where it gets a little more interesting. Uh, for one, we can't build anything because we need more logs. So we got to think about that. Second, I have to figure out a good place. Hold on, the missus is calling. 14 gigabytes for a demo. Yes, it's, it's pretty huge. Um, but anyways, we have to find a good place for a well, which requires you to follow this very random set of underground water, which I'm still still on the fence about. I don't know. I feel like you could pretty much place a well anywhere, or you pull like a... What is it? The final front... Not final frontier. Falling frontier. Where like, there's areas of water that you can place it, instead of following these really random veins of water. Um, But it is what it is. I feel like we could put a lot of residential houses right here starting on the king's road so if we wanted to do that we could just drop a well right on the king's road and that will allow us to do that and then 
once we get more wood, we'll start putting some burgage plots, but it requires two per, so. We gotta get rolling. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm really excited about today. We should have a lot of fun playing the game. We got three wood. I kind of would like to place three at a time. I mean, I could go all the way over here. Put 17 houses down. <laughs> See, even that's still four. We're not there yet. A tip and trick for you guys, you want that cross. That's very, very important because it will allow you to add a yard, a backyard essentially, that will allow you to create extra resources. So you always want to find space for that. All right, so one thing we need to do is we also need to go ahead and start. Uh, we need a hunting camp. Struggled with food for years until I started selling leather and importing meat. So I did farms early this morning. That was kind of like my go-to. And it was, uh, it was relatively successful in the very short time that I played. The only thing that I don't like is that my all this stuff is so far away. But at the same time, we have a wild animal population right here. I didn't want to build right there. It is what it be. What I really want to do is get this road all the way up here. There we go. Because this is going to be where our manor house is. Families are joining. Great. What we like to see. And it's August. So we're definitely going to need to... Let's see. Berries start disappearing. We're going to go and dump that off. And we're going to dump both into here. We're going to punch them up to like 35. Alright, a new message. As you walk the perimeter, surveying your village with, a, with pride, a woman walks past you. She's bent nearly double under a sack. You ask how long she's been walking. She tells you it takes her half a day to get all the food she needs for her family from the hunters and farmers that surround the village. Only there was a marketplace where your people could acquire food, clothing, and firewood. They would be happier, have more time for other work. So we now need to work on getting a level 2 burgage plot, food stalls, firewood stalls, and clothing stalls. Alright, so that's, that's not terribly difficult. Uh, our market area can be designated uh, wherever we want it to be. <clears throat> uh, let's go like this. So, for instance, I really wish this hitching post wasn't there. I can build another one. Somewhere here. Hitching post. How do I destroy this? Relocate building. Okay, good. So the market area can be designated wherever we want it to be, right? So let's get trade could go actually would fit right there. The music is great. And this is work in progress music. Market area. I don't think we'll need such a huge market area, but I think it's fun. So, okay. So this is our designated market area. And then you can see we can build a food stall, which we are just going to build right on the outskirts for now. Firewood and clothing. Like I said, it's probably a little bit overkill to build such a big thing, uh, but it is what it is. And then we're going to start working on more burgage plots. And start building up this whole area as we lead up to what will eventually be our palisade. So yeah, as long as we can keep timber production up. One of the other things that you want to keep in mind. Uh, one of the things you want to keep in mind is this right here. You're currently showing. So with Mana Lords, the way that it works is um, you have between surplus goods and total goods. Total goods is everything, whether it's being used or not counts in your inventory surplus goods if something is being used it doesn't show up so for instance we have two timber here because 
technically there's two timber being supplied here for the for the uh the burgage plot right and we have 69 food and 20 fuel if we go to surplus goods that doesn't show up because it's already being used so when you see you're running low on food and fuel if you have surplus goods it may not necessarily be true because it is taking to affect surplus only not what might already be inside of the burgage plots so when you play the demo uh don't freak out about that it's it, it's all good yeah we gotta get rolling we gotta get rolling real good because uh winter's coming and i want to start building i want at least four or five more plots here soon but we got to get more timber in construction finish of a burgers plot so now that we have extras we're going to start getting additional families coming in and that's another very important part to this game is being able to uptick that as much as possible we got two more that we can build hmm i wonder if i shouldn't just leave an empty space here i don't know if there's any uh use for that other than it would just kind of look cool. You know what? Oh, I wish I wouldn't have built that thing now. Asking person to leave. Sorry, buddy. We're going to build a little alleyway. Pack up your things and leave. We're going to build a little alleyway. We're going to kind of do... I wish I would have thought about this before. We're going to kind of, kind of contour... We'll do that for now. No, we don't need a trading post. We can build four plots. There's four. It's work. Work, work, work. We'll be able to get some extra help for the winter, and that's the important part. Uh, let's go ahead and build a woodcutter station. Oh, we don't have enough. Never mind. All we need is one. All we need. There we go. So they're not homeless anymore. Should be happy. Winter's coming. Pantry limit reached. Also ignore that. That's not true. Pantry limit's not reached. Low on supplies. I I mean, yeah, we're a little low on on uh, wood for sure. The Starks over here. That's right. Winter's coming. Just waiting for timber to come in. Let's go ahead and bring a third person into our logging camp. Like I said, we're going really fast now. We'll go fast through the first year or two. And then I think once we're past that, we can start slowing down a little bit. As there's going to be a little bit more to, to manage and handle. But I want to kind of get our economy jump started. Although we probably will die if I can't build a woodcutter's lodge soon. I'm going to set an area. That way they're a little bit faster. We're into November, so uh, it's pretty much berries are going to be gone. All right, winter's here. You're going to see snow start accumulating, which is one of the cooler parts of this game, in my opinion. There it goes. It's too cool, man. I really enjoy it. We're going to build that there. Then we may build a second plot or a second woodcutter. Not entirely sure yet. See what I mean? Like, how cool is this? Just the Lord walking around his village. Hello, ma'am. Good day to you. gonna go check on the stalls real quick and then we'll 
Oh, nothing there. Nothing there. Uh, I don't know what that is. I guess that's probably berries. Maybe some meat. Looks frozen. Well, you got some frozen berries. Congratulations. Yeah, it just looks really good. Looks really good. And we're getting that built. Yeah, we're, we are now officially out of fuel. We're going to put everyone we can into there. I kind of dorked up and uh, focused too much on people. Making sure people had enough uh, space to live. Winter in medieval times has been really rough. Spoiled electricity and gas powered for sure. I don't know. We have a wood burning. Admittedly, we have a much sturdier built house. Well, we have a better built house, I would say, than they did. But we have a wood burning stove. And I tell you what, that beats almost any heating system. Any powered heating system out there. It's the one thing I'm looking forward to this winter is using our wood stove. Alright, so uh, firewood's pretty much going to get consumed immediately. We might... Oh, someone died from the cold. See what I mean? I messed up. <laughs> uh, very much a pro streamer here. All right, we've got lots of timber now. Did I like have people die? Oh, the work area. I got you. Okay. Uh, go ahead and clear the work area. You can go work wherever you want. Uh, but we can build some more plots. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Too steep. Ooh, okay. Okay, so that is too steep overall. Which means that these are probably too steep. No, they aren't. Cool. Well, we'll drop those guys here so they're chilling. And then we this is just, I guess, empty space. If that's how we want to play it. Although, I guess we could start, like, our palisade here in the future. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, woodcutter is going to be the hardest thing. Let's go ahead and designate him to there. Did we lose people? I think we're losing people to the cold. I think we're losing some people. I mean, we're not doing fantastic over here either. I don't need that. We don't actually need a person there either. Let's get people building on the houses. All right, it's February, which means our bushes should start coming up soon. But what we could go ahead and start thinking about is the next year. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's take a look at uh, what we can play. We have emmer, which is, again, grain. We have flax, which isn't going to be really good anywhere. But we do have... Well, let's wait for the snow to melt. Watching the snow melt. That's a cool looking little village we've got. We've got four extra people, which is awesome. So, okay, let's take a look here. We have Emmer, which is really great right there. Flax is not good in very many places. So we're going to build a plot over there, though. And then Barley. So Emmer and barley are kind of right next to each other. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a field. First, we're gonna build a road. And then we're gonna build a field. 
Now, we're not building huge fields. Um, I, I don't want to build ginormous plots. Let's see, where's barley? Oh, cool. So we could honestly... We could do flax. And then barley would work really well. Right there. So that's cool. That's actually super convenient. Now, the fields are fallow. We can rotate crops, which is what we're going to do. We're going to do emmer. We're going to go fallow, and we're going to go emmer. So essentially, that means that we're going to go... I'm going to go flax, emmer, and then fallow. And then here, we're going to go barley, fallow, and then emmer, and see how well that balances out. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but then we need to build a farm. That's going to use our only tools that we have. Which simply means we'll need to build more. That's all. We'll, or import more. More tools. It's all good. Uh, we should also go ahead and start working on industry. So let's build a tannery because we have... We will build a tannery because we do have a lot of uh, pelts. But one thing we can go ahead and build is another... Hunter's camp. And I am half tempted. I wonder if that's any closer for the hitching post. No, I don't want to add a worker. Relocate the building. Just, well... Relocate to this side. There we go. How you doing, Cardinal? All right. So food production is going to start going up slowly but steadily. Come on, people. Get to work. Go ahead and make that first priority. And then what's also cool is that what I found out this morning when I was recording is Mandalord's out. The demo will be out for the public in approximately two-ish hours, I think. Um, but what's cool here with the farms is that the ladies will come and help, or at least they did this morning. Space battle went so badly, you're back in the medieval era. Yeah, it set us that far back, monkey. <laughs> the demo's out now? Oh, nice. Everything's good, yeah. No, everything's great so far. Go and go two there. I'm gonna knock a person out there. We don't need three people making that much. And we have seven wood. I don't think this looks too weird. I think it's fine. Big fan of the ladies. But yeah, like, look, the, the ladies will come out. And I don't know if it's the ladies of uh, the farmers that are, get assigned. But they come out and they help plow and sow and harvest. And I just think that's a really cool, little cool quality of life thing. Because... In my opinion, I was going to be like, how in the world are two farmers going to plow three fields and all that stuff? But they actually get help, and that's I think that's awesome. Do we have enough? We don't have enough timber. Go ahead and add another person there. We might build another logging camp. If I do, it may be like over here, but then I don't want to have to worry about them going all that way just to drop off logs. Maybe they won't necessarily. I think we'll build another logging camp here. I've had this game on my watch for a while. Yep. It is uh, from now until the 10th of October. Delightful little treat. Man, this soundtrack's so good. Yeah, look at that. They've got it almost completely plowed. Which means we have work to do <clears throat> here in the near future. Because we're going to have to set up the industrial side of all of that.
We actually probably don't want that. I know this is a peaceful run, but I'd still like to make things somewhat historically accurate. Not enough hurdy-gurdy. I'll make sure to tell Slavic that. But I agree completely. We can always use more hurdy-gurdy. Oh, we do have plots under construction. Didn't realize that. Mmm, you know what? That's a good point. Let's... Get to work, lads. We do need to start prioritizing some workers there. Um, we are... Let's go ahead and reduce one there so we have some guy building. But we really need a granary guy because he's going to come in and he's going to take everything off here. And he's going to offload it correctly. The same with this storehouse guy. He's going to bring in the pelts and stuff from all these guys so they don't have to worry about it. There we go. We are a little bit too low for my taste. It's June, and we really need to get busting on some industrial things. Uh, we need a windmill and a communal oven. Because that converts grain to flour, and then flour to bread. Here's your hurdy-gurdy. Unless that's just a violin. It may just be a violin. Okay. Uh, where? Why are we not? Why are we logging incorrectly? I don't honestly know what all that does exactly. I just know we need more wood. Woodcutter's Lodge is not full. I'm sorry. That is a lie. Alright, so in order for us to get to level 2, I guess I should mention this. In order for us to get to level 2, we have to satiate all of these green check marks, right? This is a requirement or approval, right? Will cause a loss of approval if not fulfilled. So we have two types of food. We need to supply two types of clothing, entertainment, so beer, and faith. So we've got a ways to go. Pantry limit reached. I don't think we did. We're okay. But at the same time, we also need to get industry set up as well as other things. Needs more cowbell? Oh no. Are they freaking messages? Absolutely not. You're fine. Is there a release price for the game since I can't find it on Steam page? I don't think there is at the moment. I don't think that's been uh, disclosed yet. Are they harvesting already? <gasps> They're threshing. This is another dorky thing. Oh no. Oh no. I'm really confused on where I am. Okay, I'm not I'm not too far. The roads look weird. Yeah, they do look a little funky. Um oh no, this is it. This is the threshing floor. Guys, they actually thresh this again. It's super probably cheesy and dorky on my part, but they actually thresh They thresh the grain. It made noises this morning. I don't know why it's not making noises anymore. Demo build, probably. Hello. Are y'all making some grain? Like, it's just one of those things that it's like, it doesn't need to... This doesn't need to be in the game, but it is because it's that cool. First person, third person was actually present in the first and second dungeon keepers. That's cool. I didn't know that. Vitamin deficient, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. A whole bunch. So yeah, that's just one of those little quality of life things. It's just really cool. Just to actually have a threshing floor. 
It's just... And so we now have 140 grain, but we have no way to what we do now. So we have lots of crops, but we just have no way of baking them at the moment because we need two wood in order for that to happen. <clears throat> also, I don't know if this matters. It enables firefighting. We are going to, to think ahead, mainly because I had my oven catch on fire this morning when I played for YouTube. Um, but we're going to put a well over here so they can fight a fire pretty quick. Where are the honey fields? There are no honey fields. There is a beehive, but uh, no honey fields. And I don't know that we can expand into those areas either. I think this is literally just maximizing everything we can do within our own one region. Um, <clears throat> You know what? Let's pull you off. You go in there, you're going to make a lot of good stuff. And then we just need wood. We need wood out the wazoo, and I don't know why they're not making it. Eventually, we're going to need to try and grab more livestock. The more oxen we have, the more stuff can be done. more that uh, resources can get pulled around, etc, etc. Well's been finished perfect. That way if things uh, explode or blow up, we can fight them quickly over here in our agricultural industrial era area. Come on. There's two. We're going to pause that so we can designate it for the oven. Now we're going to go super fast forward. Now we are running extremely low. I wonder if we've decimated the population. We haven't. So there's no reason for it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. We're we're running low on food. Like majorly. Get that built ASAP. And I'm probably even gonna stop them from Go there. Go where all of the meat are. Ya dingleberries. Go. <laughs> So we have plenty of flour and stuff going, which is great. Demo surprisingly well compressed. Well, I think it was like 14, unless they did an update. Which they may have. Now, mind you, it is literally limited to this region. Like, that is it. I don't think we can... I don't know that we can claim these. We may be able to. We'll find out. But I, I, I don't think it's possible. Let's get two people cranking out food. In fact, I'm going to pull one of you guys to make that. We have so much flour that we're going to be able to crank out food. Hopefully. And everyone's starving, so it's going to get consumed immediately. We need to make another granary, maybe? I think maybe it'll be a little bit different uh, once we get things rolling. Man alive, that's a lot of grain. I think we'll be able to get through winter. It may be a little bit close. It may be a little close, but I think we'll get through winter.
Seems pretty unforgiving on the survival elements for sure, as well it should be. I think it's fun. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's bad at all. I wonder if we're losing because they're putting stuff into here. Okay, that does seem to be the case. We may need to build another granary. Can I upgrade the granary? Upgrade to a large granary for three buckaroonies? Yeah, look at that. We're starting to make a ton of food and stuff, so we'll be good. I need to get through winter as a strong ale supply. Starving is so bad when you're drunk. That's for next year. Hey, Oxen, let's move it. Look at that upgrade. Oh, this is going to be fancy. Are you really dragging it from all the way over there? Son of a biscuit. What is up with you guys? Are they just consuming all of your wood? I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. I mean, that's fine, right? I mean, oh wow, that'll really help things for sure. And everyone seems okay. I mean, we got, we're holding steady at 50 food. People, let's see, this is our food stall. It could do some work, but we'll get there when this gets re gets built up. That's going to be a big granary. The Lord is just short enough. Just short enough. Oh. I don't know. I feel like you could probably feel. He's just got to jump just a little bit. And he's good. See, you call deer. You guys want to watch him gut a deer? It's not anything graphic, so don't worry. I say it's not graphic. If you've never seen a deer get gutted in your life, you might be slightly, ever so slightly traumatized by this. But, uh, I need to know. Get some workman's comp. Bring on the blood. There's the blood. <clears throat> and like I said, it doesn't show anything like super graphic. I mean, he's cutting his hand more than he's cutting the deer. See what I mean? Like, all of a sudden his head's gone. You're doing a good job, sir. See, you've got one too, Bob. <gasps> Speaking of which, we can rename everyone. Right? Right? Thought we could rename people. I helped rack a deer once, couldn't bring myself. Oh no, I haven't done it yet. I've helped rack a deer and that's it. That is it, because nope, not doing that. I don't have I don't have the guts to to do that. You're right, if my survival was dependent on it, sure. But as of yet, it's not dependent on it, and I'm very thankful for that. Come on, finish it up. Let's get it rolling. Oh, also, I think there's actually controller support for this. <clears throat> First by USB. Xbox controller. If there is, it's not working. I don't know if there's a setting or something I gotta toggle for it. Nope. 
It plugged in and said, hey, by the way, you can use this, but we can check it out in a second. I just want to see this thing go up. Try to do a kangaroo once, but ended up making myself six. What? What? Oh, you, tr you tried to gut a kangaroo? Nexus? What? There it is. Our large granary. And now we have more than enough space for everything. For some games, you need to do some stuff on Steam. Yeah, I think this one should have native support. There was something else. By the way, interface scale. For those of you who want something bigger and better. Okay, cool. We're good. Alright, well we're going to get through. We're going to be okay. We're going to make it through our second winter without losing anyone. I think. And I have a feeling we have so much flour, it's actually going to last us until next year. We used to shoot them on the farm because they would eat the crops. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely good food-wise, which is awesome. Um, something is telling me I should do this road right here. <clears throat> Alright, it's February, which means here in the next month or so, things should start to thaw out. And we're going to need to, we need to try and focus on leather production this year. So, let's go to industry. We're going to go to a tannery. We're going to drop that tannery right on the other side here. And then we're going to work on timber production to try and uh, boost that up because timber is what we're hurting on right now. And we have 125 pelts, so we have plenty of leather to make, and that will satiate one of the clothing requirements for our, our people. There's still so much grain left. It's mind-blowing. Yeah, we should be good. Between meat and, and bread, we should be right as rain. <clears throat> We're making a bit of influence. So you know what? I bet we would be able to buy regions. Because I can claim it. We can get some honeybees going or start a, uh, a berry production. Claim this one has a clay and honeybees. Has everything. Hmm. Welcome to Manor Lords. Wait, is that Emmer? I thought I did an off year. I guess I didn't. Okay. Oh, we don't have anyone to do anything with it. Okay, that sucks. Um, let's have one less guy there, get the tannery rolling. We really need more wood. More wood, me lord. Game looks super pretty. It is super pretty. You are correct. I mean, like, this is a really basic village. And it looks 
really cool. It looks really good. It's a little messy in the middle. That's a little bit of an eyesore. But aren't all cities an eyesore in some way or another? I mean, come on. We've got leather now. Awesome. Come on, get me to four. Good. We can start getting some more plots. And then I think our next thing, we really got to focus on some industry because we can get some weavers workshops. Um, <clears throat> hey Derek, how you doing? How did we go to the demo this morning? Work was in the way. For sure, this is my work, so I'm a little bit lucky. I'm a wee bit lucky. Um... You really should give, I really should give these guys a rest. Do that and then fallow. <clears throat> They're building these super fast now, which is awesome. Clothing stall is full. That's not a bad thing. It's actually a really good thing. Go to a place. I'm looking forward to spending some time on it. Yep. Same here, man. Same here. Let's see. Well, can I build a malt? Malt house converts bar barley to malt. Don't know that that's exactly what I want at the moment because I don't know that I actually have barley in in the works. Can we execute the peasants? Want to make an oppressor? We can't. We can't execute the peasants. <laughs> I need to figure out some new commands because we need to. We haven't really been able to utilize. Uh, commands well lately and I don't like that Some peasant. you're a monster absolute monster oh hey Nexus I can do that there we go You said H2O, not coffee. Okay, so let's focus on importing and exporting of sheep or of, of, of livestock, rather. Yeah, I'm, I'm down for that. And then we also need to have an actual trading post, but we don't have enough resources for that. <clears throat> Guys, I hope you're enjoying today. I hope you're enjoying the time with the Manor Lords demo. If it is, it is out right now. Is that correct? Um, but if you're enjoying the channel and you're enjoying hanging out with me, you can totally support the channel by simply giving me a follow. That's all I ask of you. But if you want to go further and you really enjoy it that much, you can use your Amazon Prime sub or anything else of that nature. Is it already time? Is I mean, is the demo out? Manor Lords. Steam. Is the demo out in a boot and ready to go? It is, so you can play it right now. But like I said, if you want to, you can support the channel by uh, simply following it first. Yes, it is. I am playing it right now. Good. We've got so much food. Bread production may be a little bit bonkers. 
It may be a little overpowered. I really regret planting uh, Emmer. Uh, you know what? Ugh, let's just follow it. <clears throat> Entry's not full. Good lord. Um, man, what is up with the logging industry? That's what I want to know. Let's, uh, let's demolish that building. Let's go put logging over here. Let's prioritize it. Trying to have spent the last 30 minutes making a coat of arms. It's not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. Cool. Well, we have lots of extra stuff now. So let's go. Uh, let's bring a guy here. It's August, so that's a little too late to start doing that. Let's slap another dude on that. And then once the logging camp gets made, we'll start pumping into that a bit quite as a lot too. The livestock trading post will be good, but we don't have anything to trade money-wise yet. We do have a ton of pelts and a lot of leather. Need a kangaroo coat of arms. That's exactly right. That would be quite successful. And the other thing that I really like about this game is like these, these little access points here. It's a simple little concept, but it allows for a lot of creativity and stuff. Livestock trading post. All right, let's look at this. I want an oxen. Imports only. I want two. I want three. So it'll cost me 30 gold, which means I need to now focus on a way to ensure that uh, I can get 30 gold. But just so you guys get an idea on everything, you remember that the surplus goods is what is extra. So by all standards, I should only have 16 fuel. But if we go to total, you can see now that I actually have 143. Because, again, the surplus is just what everyone doesn't have that's extra, right? Not the total. This is what everyone has plus the surplus. So, again, this isn't necessarily a freak out for me because I know... I've got enough fuel to last me a while because everyone already has their house full. <clears throat> Sweet. Loads of timber now. Let's get trade going. These are the people that I always envy in any in any neighborhood because they get the big corner yard. Remember you always want the extra plots. Just started your own settlement. Very nice. Yeah, we need livestock real bad. Real bad. Because that way we can add more, more guys here. Trading post, perfect. Let's slap a dude on there. Materials, we are going to... Leather sells for a lot. We're going to export only. Uh, what does the target mean?
We're just going to sell like 35. Flour is actually a decently big commodity. Grain. Can I? Okay. I would. Ugh. I would love to be able to. I just got to click real fast. Is there a shift click? Oh, there's a shift click. Good job, Slavic. Good job. Okay. Uh, anything else? Food? No, nah, we're not selling food. No way, Jose. Uh, crops? Not so much. Tools? Let's import. I'd like to have five at any given time. <coughs> Excuse me. Everything else, I think, is okay for the moment. All right, so let's see how it works. The trader usually comes through here. We have a couple of traders at any given time. But it does require, I suppose, people moving stuff. Oh my word, we're already overflowing in that large granary. Son of a biscuit. Yeah, we definitely need to... We're fallow on two of them. Barley is next year. 230... Good lord. We're going to be drunk for years. Cool. We're getting uh, leather coming in. We've got a trader now. Skull Hall, thank you for the follow. Let's see if the trader stops and takes a look at our goods. Hello, sir. Would you like to take a look at our fantastic goods? We got some exquisite leather. You kind of glitched there, sorry. Um, yeah, well, anyways, uh, you want to come look over at the market? We've got some good stuff. I'm looking for some oxen, if you have any. It doesn't look like you do, unless there's some oxen. Oh, please don't run over my citizens. George, hey, George, get out of the, get out of the cart. George, come on. Dude, dude, get out of the cart. Get out of the cart, thank you. Uh, but anyways, you want to come take a look? Huh? You want to? Eh. I guess it'd be this way. Come on. Come on. No? We'll shove off then. I don't like the kind. <clears throat> uh, let's see here if I'm doing something wrong. Full trade. Oh no, we only want export only. Alright, well, he didn't really like that. I wonder... There's another traveling merchant. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. Stop. Don't trade. Leather. Leather. Export only. Target stock perfect. Flower. Export only. Uh, we'll do 200. Cool. Firewood, no. Grain, we could probably sell some. Never mind. <clears throat> gonna do 300. What's it gonna take for you people to come stop by and buy my stuff? Trading carts allows you to transport up to 20 goods in one trip. I wonder if there's like, why aren't you trading with me? It's very, very rude. It's incredibly rude. I have given you all of these goods, and you spit in my face. Seriously, that's a little bit rude, though. Our granary is, like, overflowing. That's fun. Uh, and I have no, no wood. 
Build more storehouses or employ more storehouse workers. You. You do that. I'm not going to do that. I do wonder, seriously, like, is there something I'm missing with trade? Optionally, workers travel to the nearest trade point to buy or sell goods based on set targets. Workers will travel and buy stuff. Trade is done using regional wealth. All right, so what we need to work on now is we need a second thing of clothing, we need entertainment, and we need faith. So we can totally construct a church, cost eight wood. We need a tavern, but that tavern requires a malt house and a brewery before we can even do that. So that's seven wood. It's 12 wood. And we're having a hard time keeping any wood in stock. Uh, let's let's knock down the woodcutter production, unless we see things are going to get a little risky. Food has plummeted. Not sure why. Pantry limit has been reached. I know, man. I know. Okay. You don't have to tell me. I have five extra workers. That's full. I have everyone I need there. What if I uh, added... Wait, are people taking stuff out of my... We need more workers here. I know we need more workers. I know these. Wait, what are traveling traders? We'll travel to the nearest trade point to... Oh! Oh! That makes sense. Hey, Logano. You're magnificent, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate it. I'm sure there's loads of people streaming. And the fact that you're choosing this, uh, to watch this with me, it honestly, it does mean a great deal to me. It really does. Um, I don't know why I have no treasury. Why is no money coming in? I need to know. I do just wonder what my consumption of food or, or my lack of wood is about. They're still building houses. I forgot about that. Got to stay hydrated, properly build a town. That is correct. I also wonder how you... Okay, cool. A little bit cold and wet. That lady looks like the shame lady from uh, Game of Thrones. How do you enter first person? There's an eyeball in the top right corner. Right next to your lord. Oh, I thought people were building here. Hey, aren't you supposed to be over there? Dave, dang it. Get over there. Back to work. I want to see this house go up. And then right there will be my gatehouse. Where my manor house will be. And it will be wonderful and glorious. Oh, I saw his face. <gasps> saw. He's like, no. No, you can't see my face. Not supposed to see it. Okay. Well, I thought they were building. Apparently they're working on it. And then this year, uh, let's see, this year we have barley, this year's fallow, and that year's fallow as well, which we have more than enough grain, so it's fine. It's fine. No issues at all. I am running a little bit short on time, though. 
in terms of reaching my level twos. Cool, we finally have timber. So we can actually knock out that guy. Those guys can, uh, they'll have enough. Uh, the question is, I think, I do just wonder why that's not being used correctly. Export is export if stock is greater than target, and the stock is vastly greater than the target. We really just need another. We need another oxen. We have two in stock. <gasps> did they? Did we buy another oxen? <gasps> we did buy another oxen. That should help immensely. It is helping. So, I guess, is the treasury not working correctly? It's not working correctly. It's not showing up. But these people have money. How do I look at... Why isn't stock showing up? Or, uh, money showing up? Because here's the deal, guys. Like, look. I can purchase. Let's get a chicken coop so we can start getting extra food. Let's start getting a goat shed. Chicken coop. Goat shed. Chicken coop. Oh, there it is. Regional wealth. Oh, there's a difference. There's a difference. What have you missed? Only the development of an epic small village. That's it. Okay, so I think the extra stuff is working. The extra oxen is working very well now. We now suddenly have a massive surplus of, of stuff. Which is good. 